Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting. I'm doing a nice little get ready with me video, um, a nice chit chat video. I wanted to kind of sit down and do my makeup while I catch you guys up on some stuff because I haven't really done so since moving to this house. This is also a very exciting video though because um, it is sponsored by American Eagle. This is really cool. My boyfriend's Instagram used to be like AE kid something, whatever. Uh, so he's really pumped for me, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a little haul at the beginning. I am so impressed by the pieces that I got. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I'm already wearing something and I've been wearing this. I actually spilled coffee on it. So like, please forgive me. That's what I literally did it in the video. You guys will see. But yeah, this stuff is so soft. It's so freaking comfortable and cozy and cute. And that's like my style, as you guys know. So I'll have everything linked down below. I'm gonna quickly show you guys a few pieces and how they fit and how they like wear and all that. Um, and then we're gonna get to the get ready with me. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe, follow my Instagram, all that stuff. Love you guys and let's get started. Okay, coffee. The first thing that I got from American Eagle is this that I'm wearing. I wish that you guys could feel this through the camera because it is so freaking soft. Okay guys, here is the crew neck. Absolutely love this thing. It is actually the most comfortable thing ever. It's cool too because you can kind of dress it up. Like, you know, I say like I tuck it into jeans and I dress it up, but it is really cute. I love this look, an oversized crew neck look. Big hoops. I'm surprised I'm not wearing mine right now. Oh my gosh. I will also have the sizes that I'm wearing in the description box as well. Like, I'm going to show you guys everything and I'm obsessed with everything, but this is my favorite thing that I got, of course, because it's like basic and really simple and comfy. I'll show you the other two tops that I got. I'm actually going to wear one of them today. I haven't decided which, but they're unbelievably soft. I've really been into this color lately. Um, I'm kind of getting into more like beiges, browns, neutrals. So it's just like nice. Would this be a mock neck? Okay, this cow neck, obsessed. This is like the prettiest warm brown color. I'm really into this color. It's like a camel, but like, I don't know. Would this be a camel color? Anyways, um, I love a good turtleneck. These are so freaking soft and so cozy. Love this. Then we have this one that's so freaking cute too. And basically these are just like, in my opinion, like really comfy crew necks that are like a little bit more dressed up so you can wear them out and about and like you feel like you're put together and ready. Okay, I'm obsessed with this one and the color. Again, it's just so cozy. If you were someone who likes cozy clothes, but you want to like you tried harder, this is good. This would even be cute for class, especially because it's so comfy, but it feels like you're wearing like a hoodie still. But anyways, super cute. I got this in a size small because I wanted it to be a little bit more fitting, but I think it would be really cute even in like an XL. If you got it super oversized, I kind of want it oversized as well. I decided when I was picking out these pieces that I really wanted a flannel. I have not worn a flannel since probably my sophomore year of high school. So here is the flannel. I got it in a size XL. This just reminds me of bonfires. I used to go to bonfires sophomore year of high school all the time and I would always wear a flannel. So um, yeah, it's super cute. It's really comfy and just cozy. So if you guys didn't know, American Eagle has sizes up to 24. So they have jeans for everyone. They also have even more sizes and lengths available online, which is really cool. So you can basically get the perfect fitted jean because there's so many size options that's like perfectly tailored to your body. So also if you guys didn't know, American Eagle is all about real. So their mission is to enable self-expression and individuality. It's really cool though because their AE and Me campaign is just like real kids out styling their own clothes and taking photos. So it's like really cool. They have some new jeans for spring. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my jeans that I picked out. Um, I got the mom jean. I love these because they look like they are, um, these really expensive jeans that I wear and they are way better priced. And okay, so these are the jeans. They fit me perfectly and they are so soft. My thing with jeans is that I hate them feeling like stiff, but they're really flexible and really comfortable. I believe I got a size six. I have my phone in my back pocket. Um, I like the wash too, so... Yeah, these are really, really cute. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of these. And this one is the 90s boyfriend, which I love because I love the cut here. All right, guys, I have now found my favorite pair of denim legit ever. These are so, so cute, and they are the best price for a pair of jeans like this and so comfy, like way comfier than any of the more expensive brands, but I think they're so cute. I love the fit. Um, I got these in a size six, and like, they're definitely big on the waist, so I probably should have gone down a size. I just think that they're so cute. I think they're gonna be, oh my gosh, I'm just thinking about if I wear this with a belt and then I wear cowboy boots with the under. That's what I think about with everything. Like, it is so 
freaking cute. Okay, so that being said, let's get started with the get ready with me. Um, I have not rolled my face or anything. I literally just got out of bed. So, good morning. I'm heading off to a meeting very soon, so I need to get ready. And I wanted to do a little chit chat, get ready with me, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. I'm literally so tired. So, I'm heading off to a meeting soon. I wanted to do a little chit chat, get ready with me video for you guys. This is my first video that I'm filming in my new house, which is exciting, um, other than vlogs, obviously. I asked you guys what you guys wanted me to talk about on my Instagram. So, if you guys are not already following me there, be sure to follow me. But I have this makeup bag. It's the base. Is that how you say a base? Base. I don't know. Um, anyways, it's Shay Mitchell's travel line. Really great bag. I'm gonna prime my face. I'm, this is my favorite primer, but I'm like really running low and I need to go stop at Sephora after my meeting. And I'm pretty sure it's right at West Village in Uptown, so I think I'll be able to. Okay, the first question is How are you liking Texas and how are you missing LA? Um, so, as I'm filming this, it's February 12th and I moved here on February 2nd. I mean, I still have my place in LA and like I'll still be there pretty often. Honestly, I'm thinking. I'm hoping I'm only there every other month, but it'll probably be a little bit more than that. I don't know. Honestly, I can't give you a solid answer for my life at all right now. Also, please ignore this self tanner. It's more tragic for me than it is for you. Um, I literally washed my hand. I have no idea how this happened. I love it. Like Janine stopped by yesterday, and I was telling her, and I was like, honestly, like I thought the move was gonna be more of a transition for me. Like I know that I'm from here, but. I don't know, like, I'm like, I know that I'm supposed to be here, and that like, I love Dallas, like, people, I mean, people here now are like, okay, it's so freaking cool, but it's really underrated, like, it's literally the coolest city ever, and I'm just so glad, like, even if I wasn't from here, I'd want to live here, so that's what's cool. Um, and as far as missing LA goes, I, lo I love LA, and LA will probably be a big part of my life for, like, the rest of my life, but I don't know, like, I'm just so happy here, I haven't even really had time, like, there's never been... I haven't had a second where I like genuinely I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I was in LA. Like, at all. So, yeah. Um, I'm doing one pump of CC cream with my favorite super brush. Okay. okay. How do you stay so positive? You're constantly busy. How do you avoid mental breakdowns? And that's all it says. I don't know where. And keeping motivation. They're separate. Um, okay. I honestly kind of go crazy if I'm not busy. So, that's why I like... The past, like, week of me just, like, moving and stuff where, like, my main thing was moving and I wanted to do other things, but, like, I couldn't because it was dependent on other people. Um, I actually went crazy then. I prefer a busy schedule. I like that better. Also, I'm just, I think the more I have going on, the more aware I am of that and, like, the more I take care of myself. Like, right now, I've been way more lenient. Like, I've been working out at nights and stuff, which I don't like. Just because I didn't want to wake up super early, but like I miss waking up super early. So I know like tomorrow I'm going to go to a 6.30 class and I'll be hooked and then go back to that. But like the busier I am, the more, like obviously, I don't, I don't mean like, okay. I don't know how to phrase this because obviously the busier you are, the more you have to do. But like the busier I am, the more efficient I am and everything. So I just like, I don't know, I really like thrive off of it. But I also really implement like rest days. So like. Saturdays I don't work. Sundays I'm at church like pretty much all day. But yeah. So I just make sure I'm taking breaks and taking care of myself, I think, during that time. That is like a really big priority for me. Okay, next one. How did you decide on your apartment aesthetic? Possible tips for saving while decorating. Honestly, I feel like it kind of came together as I was shopping. Like, I knew I wanted kind of like a certain look, like thicker furniture with acrylic accents. And I have always like grays. The browns kind of came into it and then it all just like ended up coming together. So my uh, color scheme is more like warm browns, um, gray, black, and white. And then with that, I have a lot of like accents of acrylic. I think the rest of my um, candles are actually coming in this week, hopefully, or at least like two more of them. I ordered so many for my centerpiece. Honestly, a lot of it was just because my mom's an interior designer, so like I've always been into this stuff. And I just have like, always kind of like looked at stuff and be like, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. As far as it like really coming together though, I think it really started whenever I was shopping at CB2 and we found my couch. I found this one photo, I'll show you guys on the screen, of a kitchen that, or like a breakfast nook that I was absolutely obsessed with. And I'm not even a big marble person, like at all. Like I don't, I'm kind of personally like, it's just not my thing. I'm, 
I like it subtly in small doses, but I'm not like this huge marble gal, you know? And they had the coolest table and I was obsessed with it. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Like I can't really spend $3,000 on a table. So then I actually posted in the Facebook group and someone, one of you guys sent me that table from CB2 and you're like, this is kind of similar and it's a third of the price. And like, yeah, it was definitely still expensive for a table, but I was like, I love this. So that was like a big thing. And then we found Maddie and Quentin helped me find my couch at CB2. Um, it all just kind of came together as I was looking for pieces, but I did find certain photos at the beginning that I liked. This one was a little bit less curated than others. I just had known in my head exactly what I wanted for a while, if that makes sense. Normally I would make a mood board though, and the best place to make mood boards is gomoodboard.com or something. And you just upload photos, which is the best place. I don't really, I don't really like Pinterest for some reason. Like, I don't know why I have bad experience with Pinterest. So, anyways, I'm using my favorite palette to bronze out my cheeks. What are your team rituals? I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, you're probably gonna be shocked. I've been so off my morning routine the past few weeks. Like, I wake up like at eight, which is like really late for me, just in like the routine that I've been doing lately. Um, I've barely worked out in the morning, like I'm just, and I feel off, like I don't feel great. I'm like, ugh, I wish, I was gonna go to work out this morning, and then I moved to stay tonight, because I stayed up until like 2 or 3 last night. My sleeping schedule is so off. Like, so, tomorrow I'm doing a 6.30 workout, uh, not so great. Also, I think Quentin like works a lot, and the only time I see him is in the morning. So, because my schedule's been lenient with moving, I think that that's also been like, oh, I might as well just like, whatever. But, not happening anymore because my morning routine really completely changes my day and I need a different one. So that is that is the plan as of right now. Coffee break everyone. What to do when you feel down and feeling lonely from working alone slash at home? I think I go through phases where working from home is like a pretty hard thing and then working from home I'm like, oh I love it, I love. Look at how I look right now. I look like the girl from uh, another Cinderella story or whatever. The mom, she's like typecast in everything. This girl, that's literally what it looks like. Um, okay, anyways, I think the biggest way is how you start your day. So like a morning routine is really important. Getting out of the house, I can't stress that enough. If you work from home, get out of the house in the morning, you need to. So like go on a run, go work out like outside of your house, go do something because that like genuinely makes the biggest difference. Sometimes if you need to go work at a coffee shop, go work at a coffee shop, like that helps. Even though I have an office in my house. Oh! But honestly, like, I'm in a place right now, the past, like, since 2020 started, honestly, I don't want to say I've been antisocial, but I've been, like, really loving just spending time on my own. <laughs> um, you know. So, with that, I think it's actually been a lot easier for me. I've kind of been thriving because I've been loving spending time alone. But there are days when, like, the, the worst thing is when it's, like, sunny out and it's the 3, like, the 3 p.m. midday slump. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm really not feeling life right now. Like, I feel like I've been like stir crazy working here. Like, I can't focus. That is like the worst feeling in the world. Um, what I've learned is that you are going to get nothing done during that hour. So, like, go do something else and then come back to it. Or, if you can, or um, just work out or, like, go on a walk or something. Like, something. Oh, I just threw all my brushes down. Something I want to do living here is I just want to go on a walk. Like, that time, like, walk Coco then. Um, and then go from there. But yeah, it's hard. I can make a whole video on like what to do during your midday slump, stuff like that. I don't know. Next question. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. You've literally got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. Guys, why did I do that? I literally have to show you this. I'm so mad at myself. I'm like actually so mad at myself. I have my setting spray. This is the best setting spray because it's so even. Watch this. Wow, wasn't that just satisfying to watch? I'm gonna use this mascara. Oh, I hate doing my mascara. Literally hate it. If you guys are in Dallas and you know good eyelash extensions, I feel like I can do it since now I don't do hot Pilates every day. And I need eyelash extensions, then I will literally never do my makeup. There was another question that I totally forgot. Okay, real talk, how do you move on from friendships that you thought would last? This is really hard. Um, this is something that I've definitely dealt with for sure. Um, I think I'm also someone who I'm very all in in everything that I do. So if I'm like your friend and I'm your friend, I feel like every single friend of mine will be like a best friend if I'm that kind of person. Um, but sometimes I think friendships really aren't meant to be forever, which kind of sucks because I'm also like very loyal and like I don't really mean that in like the best way possible. I mean that in like a when I should move on from something, you know, um, it's hard for me to leave it. So I think it's really hard, but I think you just have to recognize that like sometimes friendships are just for like a certain time and also 
sometimes friendships just go through phases and maybe you're just in a phase where it's a little more distant and then you will like come back together um like trust me like this is something that honestly i went through like very recently uh not that not super super recently but yeah it's hard and i think it's just knowing like okay maybe we're not supposed to be like bffs right now that doesn't mean that we're not going to be like close down the road um like still love them and respect them and like it's totally fine but um just like staying sweet with everything one i think is like the best thing you can do and then um yeah that's pretty much all i got for you and even if the friendship isn't going to come around it's not like a boomerang effect okay uh that doesn't even make sense um just like staying sweet with people and understanding that like sometimes things happen that like you aren't going to understand and like things i genuinely do believe work out for the best even if they suck at the time so like you just have to trust the process because you probably don't know something you know what i mean okay oh 2020 goals that was what i was gonna answer um okay something for this channel i really want to like um i'm not really someone who's like a big subscriber goal kind of person i would love to finally hit 40,000 because i've been at this like count for literally like two or three years um but that would be great but yeah honestly i just want to be like more engaged with you guys and have like an even better community i feel like we've really created that on the facebook group and like i love you guys so much on the instagram and like it's just so fun i think my podcast instagram too is cool because you guys have been able to make content for it so it's been so awesome to like really have you guys like build a platform to also build other people's platforms it's been really cool um so yeah that i really want to make better videos like every single week i want to have one like sit down video that's like edited better or my vlogs be edited better too but i just want like one sit down video a week that isn't a vlog that's just like better produced so yeah i'm working on that i made a lot of lists of stuff um and yeah i'm really excited but there we go i don't know if i'm gonna put a lip gloss on i feel like i have to you know what it is? Okay, this is maybe gonna make me sound absolutely crazy, but like, you know how you have bad hair days? Like, do you ever have like bad lip days? Does this make sense to where like your lips just don't look like they normally look? I probably sound insane, but my lips lately have just been like, I swear, smaller than lately and like a different color. Like, there's just something odd about that. I don't even know. I hope I'm not alone. We'll see, but I love this lip gloss. It's literally the best. Ooh, okay, perfect. Okay, so this is my makeup look. It's really soft, simple, kind of dewy. Um, it's just like a really easy, like natural-ish looking makeup routine. Nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, the lighting here was so much better. I could just prop you guys up here next time. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. The outlet's in my bathroom. I think I blew a fuse because I can't use it right now, but you know, what are you gonna do? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys did by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I've linked all the American Eagle clothing down below. I'm so mad I spilled coffee on this because I literally am gonna live in this. I have been wearing it so much since I opened the package. Like, I, Quentin came home and was like, that is so freaking soft. And I'm like, it's American Eagle. But yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon.